Hi, this is Mike Schmitz, and welcome to another weekly tip video. Today we're going to be looking at a utility for the iPhone called Blank Space. This is an iOS app that allows you to create a minimalist, distraction-free home screen. I wrote about this in the Screencast Online magazine not too long ago. It's a utility that eliminates the colorful icons from your iOS home screen in an attempt to get you to follow through on the intention that you had when you picked up your iPhone. There's a lot of research that shows that the colorful icons when you unlock your iPhone release a hidden dopamine and can open the door to distraction. So if you want to take back your focus, then an app like Blank Spaces can mute a lot of the sources of those distractions like badges and app icons. It isn't cheap though. There's a couple different subscription options starting at $3.99 US dollars per month, $9.99 US dollars per year, or there is a lifetime subscription which can be unlocked for $22.99 US dollars. I've been using this app for several months now and it really has had a positive effect on my ability to focus. So in this tip video, I'm gonna show you how I use the Blank Spaces app in order to create a minimalist iPhone home screen. All right, so before we get into the app, let's just start by looking at our blank iPhone home screen. This is what it looks like right now. So you can see what it looks like before we do anything, and then by the end, you'll be able to see the transformation. So we're starting with a blank black wallpaper. We have zero icons on the screen, and the dock is completely empty. As you can see, the dock still shows up even when there are no apps in the dock. Now we will do something which will allow us to create the illusion that the dock is being hid here as we build out our custom minimalist home screen. Now let's go to the Blank Spaces app. And this app is really simple, which is why we're gonna cover it just in this tip video. There's two widgets that you use from Blank Spaces to create the home screen. But the only one you really control is the main widget which has all of the links. So here we've got widget one and we've got a whole bunch of links already created here. When you first launch the app, you won't have any of these, but the process for adding links is the same. You simply tap on this plus button down here and then search for the app that you want to add. So let's search for the messages app, tap on that. We get a white check mark, which indicates that this app is now added to our launcher. And if we close this and go back to that widget, we now see it down here at the bottom underneath mindfulness. Now, some of these apps you can see here have an arrow which indicates what app is being launched, but the text that's being displayed is different. So let's add another app, and instead of using the app name, let's create a custom name for the launcher. So in this case, let's search for drafts. So once again, we'll tap to add this, we get the white check mark, we'll go back to our launcher, and let's reorder these and drag drafts up to the top. Okay, so drafts is at the very top. This is where it is on my iPhone home screen because frequently when I take my phone out, I'm trying to capture something and drafts is what I'm going to use for capture. Now I've actually renamed a lot of the things in my launcher list here for the modes that I'm going to be in when I launch them. So since I'm gonna be using drafts for capture, let's tap on drafts here and let's rename it to capture. Now when we tap on return to save that, you can see we've got capture and then a right arrow and drafts which means that Capture is going to show up in our launcher, but it's going to launch the Drafts app. That's just a quick preview of one of this week's Apple-related tutorials from Screencasts Online. Screencasts Online is your premium source of Apple-related video tutorials. 